And Senator Lazarus. Thank you, Mr Acting Deputy President. Uh, the people of Australia have lost uh, faith in the Abbott government. Tony and his team continue to lurch from one catastrophe uh, to another. Senator Lazarus, uh, just draw your attention to address the Prime Minister by his correct title. Sorry, sorry, I apologise. The Prime Minister and his team continue to lurch from cat catastrophe to another. Every morning, the people of Australia wake up to yet another colossal Prime Ministerial stuff up. Choppergate, knighthoods, pension cuts, GP co payments, same sex marriage. The Hayden Gate saga is just another stuff up in the growing pile of Prime Ministerial government stuff ups. I am of the view that a Royal Commissioner must be impartial and independent of political associations. Based on this, Dyson Hayden's position is untenable, and he must step down in order to restore community confidence in the Trade Union Royal Commission. I should add that I am strongly of the view that the Trade Union Royal Commission is nothing more than just a political attack on the health and future of unionism across Australia. There are many areas of our community where we desperately do need Royal Commissions, and the CSG mining sector is one of them. Across our country, farmers and landholders are being decimated by the impact of CSG mining. CSG mining is killing animals, poisoning our water, depleting our water supplies, devastating uh, land values and affecting human health. Why won't the government establish a Royal Commission into the human impact of CSG mining? Because CSG mining companies donate to the coalition. Dyson Hayden must go and the need for a Trade Union Royal Commission must be reassessed. As I keep saying, I can't keep the government honest, but I can keep them accountable. If the Abbott government has any respect for the people of Australia, they will act swiftly to remove Commissioner Hayden. 